Now, grapes have been around since the time when humans were making fires. It's estimated that they originally originated in the, around the Caspian Sea. If you're not sure where that is, it's north of Iran and south of Russia, the country. Now, the history of grapes oil really sprang out from wine producers uh, trying to maximize their profits because the, the seeds of grapes were really discarded in the whole process of making wine and someone figured out that you can extract oil from them and that's how it was created. Now, sure, the oil can be used for cooking, cosmetics, but the health benefits, uh, people didn't really get too enthusiastic about it um, until the French paradox kind of came on the scene. Sort of a strange name. Uh, basically, uh, on average, people living in the country of France, they consume a lot more saturated fats and cholesterols, which are supposed to be bad, cause heart disease, but they don't get it nearly as much as people in the United States of America do. So it's a paradox, people are confused about it. One theory is that the French consume more wine. Of course, after that hit the news, the sale of uh, grapeseed oil and grape products all increased. Now it's believed that some of the substances in grapes, such as polyphenols, protect the lining of blood vessels and prevent them from being hardened. Now if this hardening occurs in blood vessels, it restricts blood flow, stops it and increases the blockage and the chance of cardiovascular disease. Another ingredient in grapes called resveratrol, which you might have heard about, um, has been linked to preventing blood clots and, and reducing inflammation. Now blood clots, as you can imagine, when blood clots up, it's not very good. The, the interesting thing about inflammation, if you're not sure what that is, it's like when uh, the, the redness with the pimple, the pain with arthritis, or if you get like a sprain your ankles, a swelling, that's all, that's all inflammation. Now, the smartest people out there are still not exactly sure how inflammation plays a role with heart disease. There's a couple of theories. Uh, one theory is that uh, plaque flowing around the bloodstream is thought to be like a foreign entity by the immune system. So they gather it all up and kind of uh, attach it to some wall together in clumps. And if that, uh, that gets ruptured and, and coming back in the bloodstream, it's all clumped together and it's more likely to um, cause uh, blockage and heart disease. That's a theory. Now another really nifty and awesome benefit to grapes is living longer. It's always good, right? Um, it can help with cancer, diabetes, improves the immune system, does a bunch of other really cool things. Now someone can give grape seed oil through a grocery store. Another way uh, to get the benefits is of course with a some type of herbal supplement. Now it's important for you to know that just because something is called a herbal supplement, it's natural, doesn't mean it's always going to be safe and good for you. In fact, uh, the president of Consumer Labs is a company that has tested over 2,000 different supplements, found that one out of four of them have quality problems. Common problem is it contains contaminations in the supplement and that the quantities are listed in the packaging don't actually come in the bottle. You don't get what you think you're getting, unfortunately. So it's true that some supplements can actually do you more harm than good. Now, I recommend investing some time learning you know what makes a supplement brand safe and what factors make a brand more risky and one that you don't want to choose because you know let's be honest supplements can be confusing now to do this you can v give you a free report on, on buying supplements um, that actually I have written and it's completely free I, I talk about how to spot a safe brand from a risky choice herbs to consider doses amounts and plus more cool things so uh, you check it out by just clicking the link below this video and I, I, I look forward to your comments and what you think about it okay I uh, wish you the best and have a great rest of your day